Hello everybody, welcome to a new modern video. I'm playing once again Tron. This is the deck I'm considering for the LMS in Prague in a few days actually. It's gonna be t later today as I record this video. I'm gonna fly to Prague. I still don't know what to play and uh, this is uh, definitely one of my strongest contender. I wanna play a lot of Picture Poison. Last time I didn't have a main deck. I only had a sideboard. This time I wanna play main deck too. Uh, what else? Uh, so, this is obviously very close to uh, Javier's uh, Tron list that we've been talking about a lot in the podcast. I like the 36 months crying one talisman split. I don't like walking ballista. Actually, I don't have it anywhere in my 75. Uh, what else? I've cut also the Vermicall engine. I don't have Cursed Totem. Maybe that's a card I can play. Maybe over the Perection Metamorph. Although I still like Perection Metamorph, the one ring. We'll, we'll see if I actually need it. Uh, yeah. I mean, the rest is kind of the same. I have three Relic because of the matchup against Gorio and Murktide, which is always popular in paper. And yeah, this is again my Flex Law, the Pick Your Poison. Buenos dias, Daniel. I got on stream a little bit later today. I had to do some exams. I arrived at the uh, clinic actually at 7.30. It took me two hours, but we got there, we got there. So I started the league 1-0 uh, yesterday, not yesterday, because usually Tron leagues are super long and go above two hours. And the win was against Amulet Titan, which normally is a, a very tough matchup. But in practice, I was able to defeat uh, you know one of the best um, Amulet player in Mistaken, thanks to the pick your poison in your si in my sideboard. So, all right, so I'm doing this new thing, which is uh, just going over the first match. The rest of the league will be live. I guess I can put this at the end. Hmm, I don't know. But we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, opponent goes uh, Amulet. I know they play Amulet because they're mistaken. Although sometimes they play different things, so I kept this hand that wasn't the best. It would have gotten to turn 4 Tron with the Saga, but, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe I should have mulliganed. Anyway, my opponent has a very, very easy and fast win. Turn 3 kill with Amulet Titan on turn 3 with double... Um, Amulet Titan with double Amulet. So this was uh, yeah, a very easy concession. Then, how uh, do I uh, sideboard? Uh, I'm going to go to sideboard. As soon as my opponent reveals the Primeval Titan, I give up. Because there's no need in wasting time. Okay, so let's see. This is game number 2 now. I have, I'll show you, doo -doo 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 -doo. I show you the sideboard, I took out Saga for Bazaju, I took out all the Verm Coils, and I took out all the Relic of Progenitus, there's actually a lot of sideboarding, what did I bring in, let's take a look, I brought in for sure Pick Your Poison, I brought in both of our might, uh, what else did I bring in, no, it were might I left one in the side, interesting. I bought, I brought it in uh, explosives. No, sorry, chalice for sure. Chalice for sure. And I guess I bought it in uh, cityscape leveler as well. Okay. And let's see how game two uh, goes. Pick your poison uh, has been amazing in this match. You you definitely will see. So I decided to start with saga because saga turn one means that I can get Awar Might on turn three. And now I top deck pick your poison off of sphere and kill the amulet which is super important. Then uh, they go uh, Urza Saga, and I get top deck another Pick Your Poison. Uh, top deck another Pick Your Poison off of Sphere. Uh, I decided to go Map instead of uh, Haywar Might because I wanted to get Tron this turn. But yeah, top decking another Pick Your Poison to kill the Saga. So my opponent is super slow here, and uh, next turn I just go Tron, Karn, Liquid Matter Coating, easy win. Maybe this configuration of just going over the matches is better content. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so as soon as we go car and look at coating, they, 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 they pack it up and we go to game three. Now in game three, I'm pretty sure I side in the extra... Uh, the extra... Um, Haywar Might. Let's take a look. Yes, on the play, I bring in the Awar Might. Let's 
Or end the draw. Let's go. Uh, okay, so uh, my mulligan to uh, seven was... Uh, sorry, my mulligan to seven, and I decided to keep this hand. Now, this hand on six, I don't even remember which I bought. Actually, let me take a look at what I bought him, because this is definitely the hardest decision of the game. Tron mulligan decisions are very important. Maybe instead of play, I can just click this button here. Which is better. Yeah, so this was a mulligan. It not only didn't have Tron, it also didn't have any cyber card. Okay, so this was the, the, the hand I opened. Ah, well, I put it was mulligan into five, which is very, very important uh, thing. Um, so yeah, this was my hand. Obviously needs a lot of help. But like drawing a star or sphere turns this on. Drawing a land turns this on. I have like a spell, so I decided to keep this. And I bottomed uh believe in soul. Believe in is just bad. Uh Ulamog is probably slightly better, but yeah. Okay, I'll just click this button here and it'll go uh, automatically. Uh so they got Radiant Fountain Amulet. Three cards left in hand. I chopped the sphere, which is super important because that turns on my steerings. Or my Eeyore might. Actually, this is another very important decision. Uh, so, I craft the sphere for green mana and I draw tower. Now, I have uh, so many choices. I could play steerings into lands. But I decide that my opponent has a bounce on the end. And doesn't have anything to cast with it. Because they kept a mulligan to 5. And when I'm going to go past the second turn. So, I think they have a bounce on the end. But nothing to cast with it. So, they may have, like, let's say... They may be ready to combo if they draw a grazer or stuff like that. So I decided to just go Might and kill the amulet. They play Mirror Pool and Pass and I top deck plant and go Ring and they concede. Obviously that was a very good top deck, but it is part of the Tron gameplay that you will see in this league. Um, again, I usually, whenever I do these things, I don't edit after, but since the, the other four matches are very fast. I decided to do it. Uh, so yeah, uh, keep on watching on YouTube and uh, there will be the other four matches. And also let me know in the comments if you'd like that little uh, review of a match. Thank you, thank you. My sideboard. So this is, uh, you know, definitely as showed already, it's power. And um, if I have time, if this league is not that long, uh, I can... Um, I can go over it. Although since I've started the stream one hour later, I don't think I have time. But we'll see, we'll see. It's in the replays. But honestly, the game was very uninteresting. Game 1, his team rolled me. Game 2, I went Pick a Poison, Pick a Poison on uh, Amulet Amulet. And then Game 3, he mulliganed to a uh, pretty uh, bad end on 5, I guess. And I just had Tron on turn 3. So that was it. Okay, it looks like the MTGO bot is back. You can see now Game 1. It's not. It's actually since it's game. It's since it's not game one. I guess I shouldn't. I guess I should put this above. And the meanwhile, my opponent is scamming me. In the meanwhile, I got a sub by Binog for sixth month. Thank you, Binog. I appreciate it. Okay, so they griefed, pitching Gore's vengeance. I should pick your poison. Obviously, not the matchup for it. But that's fine. I'm just gonna draw here. Buongiorno Binog. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I mean, this is just classic Tron. They scam you. Actually, the Ephemerate scam is better than the 4-3 scam, because here I would have been on 16 already. Uh, whereas now I'm still on 20, and this is a 3-2 instead of a 4-3. So, the Ephemerate scam is better in a combo deck like Esper Gorio, but it's much worse. Like, that's why Black White scam doesn't work. Ooh, they got Pick Your Poison. Huh. I wonder why. I guess they have another... Thoughts is maybe? I don't know. In, in the meanwhile, I just do my thing here. What, you want to win a pizza? I'll just do my thing here. Drenching steerings, find Karn with it, win the game. Easy. Oh, Relic, not bad. Easy.
Allora, what do we do with Karn? I may just... Hmm... Mm. The problem with casting Karn is that my opponent can um, can get me. Maybe I should just pass here. I shouldn't do. I shouldn't do Karn. Obviously, if they're like a femur green for anything, it's bad. Or if the thoughts is me, but I just want to have Relic up in case they go like turn two, discard a track, so turn three, attempt to reanimate it. Binding? No. They can't do binding with this mana base. Okay. Sino Draco. This might be the list that True Hero trophied with. Yeah, I'm untapping. So I can do a... A bunch of options. One of them is uh, Ensnaring Bridge. Let me take a quick look at uh, True Hero. True Hero list that he trophied with. I was in a Discord call with him when he did the trophy. He has only two ending to get rid of Ensnaring Bridge. See, I think that's what I want to do here. I'll play card and let's see if they have Force of Negation first. Alright, it doesn't. So we're gonna get near and bridge. Then next turn I can get the Sundering Titan. So hero, look what look what you've done. You've put Sacred Foundry in a tainted indulgence deck, and people are net decking your list now, and they may draw Sacred Foundry Tainted Indulgence. How does that make you feel? Does that make you feel guilty? Also, you put a domain in a domain deck with with Leyland Binding. You didn't put you didn't sorry Leyland Gate, but you didn't put Leyland Binding. Does does make it feel a little bit guilty? Okay, now I can go uh, Sundering Titan and blow up. Uh, yeah, I think I could do Sundering Titan. Sundering Titan is very powerful nowadays. I think with Tron you should float the mana first and then play the cards. Yeah, that's how... If you just click on first and then play the cards, it's worse. Anyway, we can't attack, but you know, eventually. I don't have walking ballista. Maybe I should have walking ballista somewhere in the sideboard. What do you guys think? If you play, um, if you are a Tron player, have you ever felt the need of walking ballista?
You say always, but... Mm. So my problem with these cards is that they're always win more. As in, you get them when anything would have would have won you the game anyway. Like a Cityscape Leveler or an Explosives. Yeah, Walking Ballista to face, but like... It was there nothing else that would have won? I, I, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you shouldn't play. I'm just uh, trying to think. Because obviously, uh, once you have Pick Your Poison in the sideboard, and I want to always play Boseju, because I think that you should always shave uh, Urza Saga against decks that hate your lands. I think I want to get another Sundering Titan here. And I mean a Pyrrhusian Metamorph. I already got tired. But I would have blown up the two lands again. So they can never cast Prismatic Ending on my bridge. And then eventually I make Constructs and then eventually I like he were my to my bridge. I don't know. I have to keep on playing until I figure out the ballista problem. But so far, this is not a card I've, I've missed. That's like classic Tron, where you don't really. I guess Pick Your Poison is good against this version because they have Leyline and. They have Leyline Scion, Pithy Needle too in the sideboard. No, to Ira, no. Okay, what do I take out? Definitely hard to cyber with this deck. <laughs> yeah, she always have one it were my two. Oh, I take out the dismembers. I don't think so. Dismember is good. I just take out one one. And Saga always. Ah, uh, Saga's bad to side out. I thought I added Bazaju, but I didn't. Got another stone. You have too much pick your poison, but like when they go binding Cyan and you go pick your it's we're we playing against it we're playing against this deck it's exactly this deck it is it even has a secret foundry tinted and dodges combo I don't know but like whenever I see decks with wrong mana base I feel a lot of hate I don't really feel hate for modern day mana base sorry game uh, de uh, deck building. But the, 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 the mana base is something that turns me a little bit out. But I'll say that I'm playing mono green, so we definitely have no mana base problem here. Actually, you can easily have, easily have. It's not easy to side in Pick Your Poison. Sorry, to cast Pick Your Poison. <laughs> you don't have that many sources. Alright, two Bozasius right in end. I'm gonna mulligan this. Are people just adding for Gilpa for Drake with ever existing deck? Yeah, it's a moment of uh, deck building fun and people just try to do that to see what happens. That's good. That's what powerful formats should do. Alright, Maliga, this hand is perfect. Keep. Uh, what do I bottom? I'm about to bottom a forest here. Mm, they discard my sphere is annoying though. Nah, yeah, let's, let's bottom forest. Yeah, they don't have ley line, they kept seven. Okay. Oh wow, look at Leyland of the Guild Pack. So important here. It's able to be pitched by grief. Very, 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 very important. Definitely um definitely something that makes Leyline very strong in modern is the ability to be pitched to all the uh, elementals. 
I wish I had a forest so that we could poison. But it is what it is. We don't have a forest. We don't have anything, but that's okay. I mean, we've been on this pod last game and we easily won, so I have no issues about this game. It's gonna, it's gonna go well, don't worry. 20 life, infinite life, basically. Okay, Tron, and now we just need to find payoffs. I actually can't cast Ulamog next turn, so I'm gonna get the one ring. They can have Ephemerate. Oh wow, Pithing Needle. I guess the Pikachu Poison uh, was good, yes. Yep, they named it One Ring. Don't elect Top Probe and Crystal Totem in the sideboard. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I haven't felt the need of Crystal Totem against Yogg. Especially now that they have pick your poison, I feel like Cursor to I mean I guess against this deckers and uh pick your poison isn't so good. I wonder what they have in end. Five cards so many. Maybe they have like Sign the Draco, they can't cast it. Because they don't have red mana. Could be. Nice. A little Hayward might. For my troubles. They just didn't cast a spell. They did the classic Gore's Vengeance gameplay of you scam grief on turn one, and then your deck is just non functional and you lose. It happens so often with that deck. I'm kind of like happier when they grief scam rather than when they, I don't know, do something else. Opponent, uh, mm -hmm. it's time to say goodbye. Your lands. Babine! I'm curious to know your hand. Mamma mia, che mazzo di merda! Truilo, are you still here? Mamma mia, che mazzo di merda! <laughs> Modern players are so casual, honestly. It's, it's weird, it's weird. Sometimes there's a pro tour as well in Modern. It's gonna be this summer. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully I qualify. Alright, my opponent is playing Gigantona Nazionale. I have a bad end. But as often say, that has never stopped me from keeping. But this is really bad. This end, I think, does stop me from keeping. Mulligan. Okay. Keep Shimas. I even have the main deck pick your poison here. What if I bottom Carnegie Creator? I'm against Giganta. They have it. They have it. I'm ready. Game one. Four speaker poison. <laughs> no, you don't have it? Oh, fuck. Cool. My head's so bad. <laughs> we need to draw. We need to draw. Do you think Stock's Zoo is worse than Blue Merc Zoo? Yeah, if I had the answer. 
No, I don't have the answer, I'm sorry. I don't have any answers, I just play decks with cards. And in this case, bad cards. Imagine if Pika Poison was Sylvan's Crying. That I cut from my deck. Trollland! Trollland! Woo, it is! Alright, another Trollland! Another Trollland! <laughs> Yeah, no, I remember last time I played Tron, there's a video for it. If you're watching this video on YouTube, I want to let you know that there is another video. And if you're watching this on Twitch, there's also another video. And I feel like I was saying how Tron gives you a feeling that nobody, nobody, no other deck gives you, which he's just top decking now. Am I dead? Yeah. Which was like top decking now, Urza's Power Plant. Gives you a feeling that no other decks gives you. I feel like if I drew like a normal land, I would have gone ring into a normal land, cracked the stone, I would have won, but it's okay. You can ring. Uh, ta -ta -ra -ta -ra. Uh, that's like how old there is a saga. My opponent is going to pick my pick the poison on me, I know. They are a poisoner. It, what else do I cut? Woolapog? Karn, Karn is not great. Now let's let cut with a pog. I have to, I have to put cards in. All right, Urza Saga. I never want to cast you though. Close game. It is what it is. You know, we're playing a luck deck. So sometimes we don't play magic in exchange of games where we get very lucky. It's not the best to play a luck deck, but sometimes it's very fun. You have the high, you have to live through the highs and the lows. How do you say keep on losing Italian? I don't think I've ever said it in Italian. It's something I say on stream. I don't think it comes I don't think it comes natural and uh, <laughs> What a beautiful end. This is an easy win. Okay, I'll put them most to four, basically. Alright, let's go steerings then. Let's get a ringo. Go. We should have gotten our stone. I'll pick your poison is a little bit worse. Don't stubby me, please. Thank you. Danke schön. Survey land? Never. Zoo players are not allowed to play with survey lands. Everyone else can, except the zoo players. Sweet! Sacrifice a creature with flying, please. Let's play look at that castle, and that's your turn. Eat your poison. Exa actually, I'll pick it for you. Yeah. Yeah, it does pick your poison, but you don't got many choices. <laughs> I don't know. Allora. Let's go for Ringo. And then I'll uh, draw binding. You don't have binding. Uh, let me get green. Ringo number two. Let me go scrying for a Bozegino, and then, uh, what do I get, another Bozegino? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, I'm clicking buttons.
I pick your poison. Right, right, true, true, true. I'll put in and say, you know what? I'll put two triumphs, but no surveillance. I will never do such thing. I don't need to know what's on top of my deck. I'm a zoo player. I'm supposed to draw the top 10 cards of my library and win with them. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay. No playing amulet anymore. No, but I have a video with amulet. If you're an amulet lover, if you love Los Amuletos, I've made a video with it. On Mangus Workshop. Yeah, whenever I'm get I'm in the spot, I just click buttons at random, and they usually just concede. That's beautiful. Only tr no, no, not only Tron can do this, but it's not that many decks that can do that. No, I won't go to Papageddon. I will go to Prague. Actually, today, in very few hours, I have a flight. Okay, oh, classic, very, very long layover in Munich, and then to Prague. Basically, with this deck, in testing, it's very important that you save time. You just show the hand and concede. Again, you have to be in testing, though, with a friend that knows how testing works. If they're just playing and they don't know, they just want to have a good time, then you don't do that. Anyway, I have Natural Tron, but a hand is not the fastest, though. We can definitely like, flood and lose, and they have like one star with an aisle and we lose. They don't have, they don't have the card, the, the, the Ley Line. You see me there? Nice, I'll get a revenge. Gaban or Camerda Ragaban me bat eh I lose I lose unless I draw this member now. Now Oh Kulo or Kaeva Okay, okay, okay. You know what, deck? Another one. Another one. This member. This member. That's good. That's good. That's good. Cool. It's really important that you call your card. Your deck should know what to give you. At all time. You should think at the end of their turn or in your upkeep about what you what is your your best draw. That's the power of manifesting. <laughs> Belly line. Alright. What do we want now? Let's call the next one a ring. Ring ring ring. 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 Yeah, they have the stability. I don't think I'll win this game. I don't think I will win this game, unfortunately. But I'll try my best. A cold play once said, when you try your best, but you don't succeed. Play Karn. A card. Ceilings. Ring! I don't know why I said ring. I don't even have the mana to cast it. Fuck, I have a chunk cat. Yeah, yeah, okay.
Bon. Even if Karn resolved, it would have gotten explosives, but... Man, they really had the, the god end on the play against Ron, and that's fine, and that's fine. It's not a good matchup. Zoo, it's definitely not a good matchup. I need to turn off what's up. Il Ringo. Okay, let's start with green. Green. Maybe it's not a great moment to bring Tron if you lose to Zoo, which is a very popular deck at the moment. Yeah, maybe it's not great to bring Tron. Have I ever tried Stonkwood Serpent? Never. I have never tried it. Protection from multicolors seems like a house at the moment. I don't know, man. The problem is uh, pressure in Stubborn and Isle. It's not that you don't have a 3 mana 3 3. All this dust. I mean, the problem is that the higher is your curve, the the more likely is that you you stumble. Like, look at my hand. It's unplayable because I have two tan drops. And it's literally the only expensive card in my deck. I think this deck is optimized to be... Um, this deck is optimized to be, like, cheap and good. Does Yoga must have a good matchup against Zoo? I have no idea. Maybe it doesn't. You hate Tron so much? Then get away. I don't want to see you. Playing Tron and you say I hate Tron so much? Get out. Engine I, I don't know. You have a store? I come to your store that sell, I don't know. Cast on the stock of the umbrellas. And I hate umbrellas so much, they're useless. This is, as I said earlier, this is slightly worse than uh, Ephemerate because they actually. Because they actually have a clock starting on turn two, they don't like this card is Oblivion Stone. Buongiorno, Pivo. I get out in Island, if I doubt. Inti. That's a very fast start for the opponent on the play. They just discarded a Ragavan. Babbe, I'm probably all. Tirare le carte on the wall. Ooh, this member. Imagine Modern, that was like in its perfect form a few months ago and people cried because of Grief Scam, which is like so beatable, you just need to top deck a removal spell, you know? Easy. Easy! It was perfect and they just started this ban spiral. By banning actually random cards that 
made it even more random. But yeah, that's another topic. Let's keep on going here. You revealed Orkish Bowmaster. Non è male, non è male, non è male. I go to nine, I go to nine, I go to nine. Exactly, magic's so easy, right? You just pop the Garai cards. I wonder why they wouldn't do it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. E I'm dead on board if I don't make a token, so c'è poco da dire. That ENT is much better than a Raga, man. The opponent was right in discarding it. Il buon barto. You don't use it. That means. What you got? Another orc? No, vabbè! Bravo, 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 gg, gg, gg. Let's play now. That was, that was difficult to beat. On the draw with that hand, it was not easy to beat, let me tell you. La 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 pogs. La 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 Multi six. No Agabon, please. Play Thoughtsies. Play Thoughtsies. Play Thoughtsies. No Agabon. Altra volta che scam. E la Madonna, che culo ci avete. Va bene. You remember when Throw One Thoughts was broken? It was never, it was never broken, come on. It was, it was fine. It was fine. Ooh, it's a saga. Let's play it. Cool. Buongiorno, Mattia. La... Caboia, pure quello. Oi, oi, oi. It's a strong start. Should have done in a response, of course, but I clicked yield until end the step. So, you know, priorities. Would I rather make a token or play a relic? The token is not nah, fine. They have a Ragavan Dash, maybe. Thoughtsies for my ring. Ma porca merda! Actually, maybe they suck the Dotty to play a ring. Do that, please. Do that. Do that. Dai, fallo, fallo, poi non fallo. No, come attacchi. E due, come on. Eh. Why don't you do it? But it's not a true scum player. They're actually thinking through the lines. That shouldn't be allowed. <sighs> By the way, this is why you play Sphere of a Star, because you draw a card through the Dotty. Um, almost dead. <laughs> I get a Constructs, I can double block this Grief. I got a Mine. What's mine? No, sorry, not mine. I meant a ma. Yeah. I'll play it. Spare it. 
Then I pass. Two cards. I hope you have nothing. So that my double block works. La la la. I go to four, I go to three. Ah, un famoso tiro di schioppo. Nexa Ulamog. Draw. I don't know what can I draw. What can I draw? That's not good. That's not good. Good draw here. I can draw. Yeah, I have a good draw. I can draw. I'll tell you. El Ringo. Like a black mana so that even this member is somewhat an out. The one ring. Okay. Well, we aren't dead. And we love to not be dead. Aspetta un attimino. Let's play Relic first so they can't protect their Dothy. Uh, did I play land? Yes, I did. And I passed because you have Ragavan in hand. I'm at one life, which is almost zero. Almost zero. Why oh, don't play a Fable? Come on. Or a Blood Moon. You can do that too. A Blood Moon is fine too. Uh, 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 Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Better than Fable. Bravo. Actually, this is not Blood Moon. It's Magus of the Moon. I got a random land for Restinia. Go, actually, so whatever. Relic did not get tapped. It's okay. Forest Steerings. What do I find? The one ring sucks. I'll get an expedition map and then I'm dead on board. I don't have any outs anymore. La la la. I guess I can do ring into Karn. Yes, that's my out. Okay. Ring into Carnito. I should have attacked. Whatever. Ring into Carnito. Actually, I'm dead to that too now. I'm also dead to Karn now. Sorry, with Karn. Draw. Draw. I'm a survivor, I'm a survivor. <laughs> I don't know what's I don't even know what's my out. What's my out? Oblivion stone is too much. No room coil uh oh. Oh, <laughs> We're alive. <laughs> We're alive. We do it. it? Oh, he's a opponent. <laughs> oh. Oh, mamma mia! Okay. Oh my god. Allora. Um, allora. 
Hey, I'm talking as Naren bridges your line, but if I do that, how do I win? Because I can't attack anymore. I don't think I want to do that. I was thinking, hear me out, attacking Perfection Metamorph from Vermcoil. Yeah, definitely attacking. I always need to do. Or, we can do the Peeva line of um, Ensnaring Bridge. Which kind of stalls the game at 7 life. It's not bad. And I have card in play. I don't have Walking Ballist in my deck. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go and snare a bridge. I'm at seven alive. Adios, Poseju. Okay. Never gonna top my ring. I concede. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This was the... The most... The hardest win I've ever witnessed. The hardest win I've ever witnessed. We had to draw in a row. Ring. Verm Coil. Karn. And there was like not that many other outs. It was like a runner, 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 I think. Unbelievable. Who raided... A salseo. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, salseo. And they're on the draw against Cam, which is not easy. But honestly, after winning this game, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Ring, ring, ring. Yeah, the true two rings in a row. Incredible. As this member, right. We had to float black mana and top pick this member. That's true. That was also it. I had to float exactly black mana and top deck exactly this member. Incredible. Yeah, this member started at all. No Hagavan. Ah, que verla. This member. This member subito proprio. Bam, li. Um. Okay, quasi, quasi, quasi. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, uh. I think I get Karn. Yeah, that was that was that might have been one percent. That might have been a one percenter. Blood Moon, perfect. Let's slow the guy. Let's slow this down, as somebody once said. La 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 la. Always a pleasure to see Blood Moon on the other side. Not as much as it's a pleasure to see a Blood Moon again when you play Coffers. When you play Coffers, it's much, much biggest pleasure. Oh wow, they turn on uh, the Send. That's a sign for Prague. It may have been a sign for Prague. Yeah. May have been winning that game is a sign for Prague. What did I what did I pitch? A mountain. It's very cool when you do this, honestly. Very cool when you do this. When you pitch the um, Agadims. Do 
What's wrong? Is it really bad against Amulet and Zoo? It is. It is indeed. I don't have an answer to your white run. Also choose a very wrong time to crack this relic and go punish. Classic Tron player. Lord. Hmm, so Bidestone is great, and nobody will tell you otherwise. Is there a world where I can go Sylvan Scrying now for Baseju? Map, and then next turn. No, I can't. I can crack them up for a tower. Baseju, Stone Crack, no, I can't. Alright, I think I have to Sylvan Scrying for Baseju, play Map Go. Man, if I didn't crack that relic when my opponent had money to crack this, it would have been a 12. Kamadoska! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's not make any more mistakes, please, Mangu. It's not that hard to not make mistakes. I'm sure I can do it. Ooh, I can also go Karn Ring. That buys me so much time. Because I have to take Karn, and then I play Ring. And they can't attack. I don't know what you guys think of that. Karn might. Huh. Karn might. He or might. And then I have five mana. And it's not that bad. Yeah, I think our might is faster. Oh. It's so nice that this just fogs me three damage. And it's not like Ren and Six. They have to kill this. Like, this actually does something if you don't kill it. But it actually fogs three damage for sure. Okay, let's begin with Might, Kill Your Moon. Then I go Map. Crack, get another map. Sorry, another tower, I meant to say. I play tower. And then what? I can go Karn and get the ring in my hand. So then I have two bombs for next turn, ring and stone. I don't want to play stone naked. So the problem with stone naked is that um, they can like call like it's commanded. I get the ring from the exile zone. It took a bit. If you cast another moon, it's okay. Just cast ring and slowly get back. I need a lot of double black now, but I don't care about that. I guess you can grief, but if you grief, you have to take stone. Maybe I unlock double black, but I think I had to. Yeah. Grief me. You take the stone. You attack Karn. I got an eight. Stalker becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Next turn, I can cast basically my whole end. 
It's not Ed's game just yet, but I'm definitely in a good spot. Like the fact that my opponent didn't scam, didn't... I guess they had Ragavan into Blood Moon on turn 2 on the play, but Blood Moon is not that big of a deal. Who's Mag is a little bit different. Uh, um, do I want to go scrying into another Tron land? I think so. Actually, I can cast double Verm Coil this turn. Why not cutting out this member? What do you mean? You literally play this member for this matchup. Double Verm Coil is probably better than, uh, than Ring. Is there a card like the uh, uh, Winds of Abandon? What else? What else there is? Like a must from pulls that exiles both. I'm sure there's some cards that do that. And far away. Oh, Detention Sphere. Rare, rare, rare Detention Sphere. Debut of Detention. I, mean, I used to play that card in Modern. The island is good wonder. <laughs> Savior the Bloodline. My first pick at PT Journey to Nyx. My first PT to pay. I still have it somewhere stamped. Savior the Bloodline. I'll show it to you. No, 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 no. that's not true. My first pick was Silence the Believers. Not Severe the Bloodline. This was my first pick. Silence the Believers. Exile a number of target creature and all of the auras attached to them. What does this do? Three mana, sacrifice. Target creature against minus X, minus X, or X is totally to the power. Die opponent, Forza, vamos, die. Yeah. And after winning that game, too. Irk is recall. Yeah. Look at Faduli. Get sacrifice against the creature against minus X. Go on, Joe Madrinka. So yeah, this morning I woke up at seven um, at seven thirty. I went to the um, to the clinic to do some exams. I arrived there at seven forty. I picked my number, and it says come back like your number. I was number thirty six, and it says come back in forty eight minutes. Okay, so I went there in forty eight minutes, and I still had to wait like another half an hour. <laughs> And then I did the thing, and then I had to wait for my actual test. But, so I watched, I watched a lot of, uh, I watched a lot of YouTube content these days. I watched a lot of YouTube content these days. I watched Young Dingo. I watched True Hero. I watched Canister, Spiring Spike. They definitely kept me company. When it takes my rings. Hmm. 
La la la. Verb call can attack and will. We should block the other one. Yeah, I mean, I kind of cl I clicked the button. I wasn't actually thinking. I'm not actually thinking over here. I've done thinking. But, all right, I'll update the record. I'll take a bathroom break. I'll come back for round number five. Let's get this 4-1, losing to Zoo. We, this match, we were blessed. So I'm definitely going to 4-1, for sure. All right, be right back, chat. Are they, do they exist on Magic Online? Or do they only play during the challenges in top four all the time? I think what it is, is that people that play Yogamoth are so intelligent that they do always very, very difficult jobs and they don't have time to play leagues. But in the weekends, they come in and grind all the, all the challenges and steal us money. By us, I mean, not me, because they don't play the challenges, but those who do. Mirror. We need to draw Karn. Karn is how you win the Tron Mirror. Power planta, carna, and when it concedes, you, you just can't get out. It's over. It's over. Over. It's. Okay, let me bring in Pick the Poison, Awarmite, let's take up, let's take in Bozaju as well. Go on the Stonk's Brain. Yeah, right? You see this member is bad, I think Oblivion Stone is worse. No, I'm not saying this member is good, but Oblivion Stone is really bad. It's so bad that it's like blank, basically. I think I should also have Pit the Needle. I think I will. And then, uh, what else? Just a random city skip leveler. No. Adding seven three drops. Let's go. Did you know? 
quiet. My opponent couldn't tap their land because of Karn. Karn Lugometer Coaching is a combo. Oh, but it doesn't Atron, I just noticed. Have a lot of mines. Stonk's brain. I'm ready to name the Tron land you don't have in play. Unless you go Bozeju, in which case I'll play Karn first. Ma che culo rotto, porco di inci. Would have thrown a kind. The left in the Bleeding Stone. I'll go Karn and I can see it. I don't know what I don't know what I would have done. Actually, it's interesting. What what would I have done there with my card? I, mean, I could have gone stone brain. I don't know. Maybe a or my to attack. Set it a needle. Anyway, I guess since this league was so fast, I'm gonna do the outro now. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was a lot of fun. And as always, if you watch this video on YouTube, like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me you love Toronto. Bye bye bye.